Okay, I uh, just tightened my crank bolt. Honestly, the 90 degrees was not that bad, but I used that ARP ultra torque stuff, and uh, I did it all by hand. Just had the breaker bar on my knee. It was pretty easy. All right, well, uh, I'm at top dead center. I'm going to cycle through uh, full rotation and just check the chain tension as I go. Uh, I pulled the pin, the top dead center pin, and I pulled the cam alignment plate. So. So there's going to be some some tighter spots and some looser spots, just because um, just the way that the uh, the springs and the valves uh, so many tight spot. Push on the lobes of the cams. Sometimes it's torquing the. Uh, so this is one of the looser spots, which is. A fraction of the of the slop that my old chain had. Even though my old chain wasn't really stretched out that much, uh, they're just about the same length when I hold them up. Uh, I I don't think it was as even. I had some really sloppy spots, whereas now this is about that's about as much slop as I get in the loosest in the loosest parts on this chain. It's about as tight as it was in the tightest spots. On my last chain. And the tight spots on here are super tight. So that's that's pretty good. And then we're back to top dead center. Oh, man, that feels good. I actually um I had tightened I had see I hadn't loosened the exhaust cam, but I tightened the no, I loosened them both. So I did end up loosening the exhaust cam, put the new VVT on, and I had actually torqued them both down um, and pulled the pin on the chain tensioner, but when I was cycling it through, uh, checking for valve clearance and just checking for chain tension, um, the tensioner, I kind of reached down and pushed on the uh, on the tensioner arm, and the tensioner clicked out another click, um, which basically means that the the tension on the chain down below these sprockets uh, just got a click tighter, whereas between the chain or between the sprockets, the chain was didn't it didn't get affected by that click. So then I cycled it through a couple of times, and the difference suddenly between my loose and my tight was pretty stark. It was it was like probably three or four times that amount. I'm pushing pretty hard right now, so. I had to I had to then loosen them both back up and do it again to even out the chain tensioning and then this time it looks it looks perfect. Okay. So I'm happy with that.